Uh, this person says this uh, relative to the economic development plan. Uh, Dan, I'd like to believe that the new economic development action plan, as well as the new land use update, will fix all the problems here in Keene, but it won't. It's all just smoke and mirrors hiding the real issue at hand. Keene doesn't have a revenue problem. It has a massive spending problem. Included in the EDAP packet on page 23 are some telling figures. This is that thing I've been mentioning, the EDAP. Assistant City Manager Rebecca Landry uh, briefly mentioned them at the last city council meeting. School, county, and municipal spending went up 2.2% in 2015, 2016. The amount of additional developmental value Keene would have needed to bring the increase to zero would have amounted to $40.2 million in new assessed value. We did speak of this briefly yesterday. Uh, that's about four brand new Home Depots. And that was just a 2.2% increase. Last year, Keene's tax rate went up 5.75%. You do the math. No amount of new TIF districts or crony tax incentives, additional hangers at the airport, or even rebranding code enforcement as the Community Development Department can possibly keep up with the unsustainable spending that goes on in this city. This plan is nothing more than a Band-Aid on a mortal gunshot wound. Wow. But George confirmed those figures yesterday. Spending went up 2.2% in the 2015-2016 year. The amount of additional development value Keene would have needed to bring in to make that a zero increase would amount to $40.2 million in new assessed value. That's taxable property. So how many properties need to be built to raise that amount of money? Four brand new Home Depots. Home Depot's huge. It's a big building worth a lot of money, and we tax them on it. We'd need four of those in one year to pay off that increase. I'd like to see figures like this for the smaller towns, the towns that aren't keen, and how much new development the little towns need whenever their property taxes, whenever their budgets go up. That's pretty scary. <laughs> That's a drop-the-mic moment right there.